What's going on guys? I think this video is quite overdue. I would like to describe my personality as a little bit of the lazy college senior and another part being sweet brown. The ain't nobody got time for that woman. And I've already worked with this PC quite a bit. I've opened it up, done some upgrades in a carpeted room. And when you do that, the interior components can get a little bit dusty. So this tutorial on how to clean the interior of your PC should have been done quite a while ago. And instead of that, while playing games, I've just set my fan speeds to very high, like 3,500 RPM. Procrastination only gets you oh so far, so by now it's high time to do a video on how to clean your PC interior. The equipment you will need is a dust remover. Um, this is compressed air, and these are for sale for $3 at Walmart, Target, whatever store you want to go to, Office Depot, Staples screwdriver to mess around with the interior of your PC and a pencil with some insulation tape. So for the X51 you want to unscrew this area. This will allow you to take off the lid. Now that we have that off, you can disconnect the front lighting panel cable. Okay, so now we have a free panel. All right, I'm gonna dust out the graphics card. So the uh, two screws opposite to where we need to unscrew. Disconnect the power. Now we have a free graphics card. Okay. Alright, so now that we have the car free, we can blow some compressed air through the fan. But I'd like to keep the fan from spinning by holding it in place with the pencil. So. Alright, I blew at an angle and made sure that the orientation of the card allowed the dust to escape away from my case. So. Now we're going to clear out some of the ports. Now the chassis for the graphics card. That's dusted off. All right, now I'm gonna do the CPU fan and the heat sink. This isn't too difficult to remove either. There's just two screws on opposite sides. And then there's four screws right here. All right, so I disconnected it. I had this recording at 1080p. If you look closely enough, you can see the dust particles accumulating on the blades. So again, I'm gonna lock this in place with a pencil to disallow for fan rotation. To blow away from the case. A 
uh, the can gets really cold when you use it for a while. So here is my beautiful PC interior. All right, there's a small case fan right here. I'm gonna remove the front grill and dust off this. There are four of these things holding it in place. These can just be removed by hand. I think this fan was the physically most dusty yet. Now it should be mostly clear. And I'm gonna clean around the side of it. All right, this area is the cleanest of everything I've done so far because this is where the optical drive used to be and I had a video tutorial up on how to remove the optical drive and why you should. So this area is pretty nice but I'm gonna clean it regardless. Lastly I'm gonna take out my RAM and clear the RAM slots. Okay, a pretty cleaned out PC. And I'd like to do this about, I don't know, maybe once every three months. So let me know if you have any questions and I'll reassemble this. All right, another tip I have is while the computer is out of the room that you normally game in or compute in, go ahead and vacuum. I know it's lame, ain't nobody got time for that, but it's a good opportunity to dust out the room that you were previously working in. This is where I put my computer this is a laptop cooling pad and it allows me to leave this computer not on the floor and not on my desk because I don't like the computer to be on my desk. But you know, this is a cooling pad and it's a USB power fan so this definitely helps with cooling. But these are just some of my suggestions. Anyways guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave a like rating if it helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Have a great day.